this is Maya Andreasen, and today we are going to play around with another way to generate simulated light in a decorative lamp. And this time we're going to do it with an emissive map. Now, and we're going to be rendering it in RenderMan. Now you can see the end result here, and I'm going to take you through how I did this. So we're actually going to start off in Photoshop. So let's go over to Photoshop here. So this is my um, emissive uh, PSD. Um, and I actually did save this as a, um, uh, as a uh, Targa or a, uh, yeah, a Targa file, I believe. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna actually make this blue. Let's turn this off. So um, initially I just had a solid color, right? And that solid color um, is going to come through as the glow color. So if I wanted to make this blue, it would be blue. I also made this layer a darker color so that uh, if I turn on the white, let's say I wanted like a white glowy core to it, um, we can see the blue underneath the white. So that's how this is saved. Um, so let's say we uh, just want a nice blue light coming out of our lamp. So I'm going to save it as, uh, let's go to tutorial, let's go to source images. So this is gonna be uh, a Targa. And as you can see, there is a design emissive already, and that's the one that you already saw a preview of. Uh, we'll just save this as, let's call it blue. Save it as a Targa, make sure it's 24 bit and click OK. And then I can close my file and minimize um, Photoshop. All right, so how did I apply this? Well, let's uh, see what the shader network looks like first. So the shader network looks like this. So in my Pixar S lamp uh, um, shader network, I actually scrolled down to the below option and I click the checkerboard icon on my color channel and I actually, instead of just attaching a shape, like just a regular texture, um, I applied a multiply divide node. Um, because it, when you just apply the regular um, emissive, you have to up the color gain and there's a bit of a glow, but it doesn't really glow glow. And when you add the multiply divide node and multiply it, that actually multiplies the glow. And then if you take a look at this, um, so we put it through the input one channel, the actual texture, and this is the texture here. And then um, as you up the input two, so it's at one to one to one default, um, if you increase the number amounts, it's gonna increase that glow. So let's take this uh, all through scratch. So I'm going to open a previous scene. So let's go to version two, which is where we stopped before. Yes, I'm gonna save this. Okay, so um, first things first, this is our previous tutorial. I'm actually going to select both my mesh lights here and I'm gonna turn them off. I'm not gonna delete them. I'm just gonna hit H, H. I'm gonna hit H which is going to make it so that we actually don't uh, see the mesh lights shining through, okay? Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is take this out of um, the render view so that I can work a little bit more quickly. So uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is open up my uh, hypershade and I'm gonna make some changes. So the first change that I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the presence channel. So that means that um, even if my mesh light were on, I would not be able to see through uh, to the light underneath the texture. And let's just get a preview of that so you can see what I mean. So we can actually turn these back on. If you hit H again, it'll turn the lights on. And then if I click render, you'll see that my uh, light um, on the left is op uh, it's opaque. It's not transparent at all. Um, and actually we'll keep these lights on so we can see the differences with the emissive map versus um, the, uh, the alpha. All right, so let's go back to our hypershade. 
All right, so I'm going to uh, select the Pixar S Lamp B. I'm also going to <laughs> get rid of my render preview so I can actually do things. And in my color channel here under glow, so if you scroll down, you'll see the glow option. It's usually twirled up. So we're gonna twirl it down and we're gonna click the checkerboard icon and we're gonna do a search under Maya for multiply. And here's our multiply divide node. So we now have a multiply divide node attached to our um, shader network under the glow operate. Um, and our operation is multiply. So under input one, I'm gonna click my checkerboard icon, go to 2D textures here, get rid of the mult uh, that I type in and click file. So let's just double check and make sure that actually attached and it did, great. And the file name, image name is going to be emissive blue. So here it is, we're gonna open that up. All right, so before I go any further, I'm gonna save my scene. Whenever you get errors or warning messages, it's always like, uh-oh. <laughs> so we are gonna save this as version three, emissive blue. All right, okay. So before we go any further, let's take a look at this without changing our gain. So if we don't change the gain under glow, we're not going to get an effect that we want. So let's take a preview. And it doesn't look like anything has been done. So that's not what we want. So we're going to bring this back up and we're going to up this gain. So now we can see, oh, okay, suddenly a glow is showing, but there's a problem. And that problem is that I need to make sure the glow fits with the pattern, uh, the other pattern. So let's go to my place duty texture that is attached to my emissive file. And we might just need to turn off the preview really quickly. Yep, we sure did. And then under repeat U and B, we're just gonna tap five and five. And now if we preview it, it should match up just fine. All right, it matches up and we have a bit of a glow, but it's kind of, well, it's not glowing that much. It's just kind of dark and bland and yucky. I don't like it. So how do we increase this glow? Well, we're gonna go to file five here, which well, actually we're gonna go to multiply divide here and go down. And we'll have to turn off the render again, just so that, uh, Maya is working a little faster. We're gonna actually up the input. You can up it to anything you want. So right now, input two is one to one to one. Let's see what ha happens when we do three to three to three. Whoa, look at that. Suddenly we have a really cool glow. All right, so what is going to happen next? Let's turn this off. The render preview. If we go, let's go Google Bananas and do nine to nine to nine. Whoa, well now it's white and we can barely see the blue at all. <laughs> so this is a really great way to add a glow to an object. Um, I'm gonna bring it to four. Oh, shoot, come on, and enter. And now it is, um, it is blowing, it looks nice. Uh, the other thing that we can play around with, so let's turn this off and go back to our Pixar lamp, is we can play around with the gain some more. So I'm, I am going to uh, turn on my render again. So right now our gain is at 0.470. It's just an arbitrary number that I put the slider to. But if we up our gain, as you can see, it's, it's, it's updating. We, you can see that the glow actually, it got brighter. If we lower our gain, our glow will get duller, okay? So that is another way that we can influence the brightness of this glow. And that is how you can attach an emissive map through the glow channel in uh, using the RenderMan uh, Pixar shader node. 
in Maya, uh, you can do the same steps using the Pixar Disney node, but you will be attaching your multiply divide node to the emissive channel instead of the glow channel. And you'll get the same effect. All right, I hope this was helpful. This is Maya Andreasen, and until next time, bye-bye.